Film Kane here, and this is episode 7 of Bleed. Let us continue our rampage through hard mode. I'm not going to do very hard mode. We already know I can't do that. But, let's get the racer done. Bullet Train and Bunny Rocket. Oh, Bunny Rocket. I like Bunny Rocket. Hmm. I think it's time for me to change my weapons up a bit. I'm not sure this is the ideal setup. Could change weapons real quick. I think that one's important. And, eh, what the hell. I like the katana. And there, uh, another... Another, I say. Just started. Rocket boots don't want to work. I can't think. There we go. There's a lot of enemies on screen. Pop those guys. And then, just go ahead. There's no reason to go down there. Wait for the next tunnel to take care of these guys. And move along. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why was that guy glowing red? I don't think we're even going to finish the hard mode the way things are looking. This is ridiculous. This was kind of, Actually, this one was pretty hard for me on easy. Or, not easy, but normal. Haven't played it on easy. Only played the first level on easy. I didn't think it was very necessary to play on easy. But I didn't notice. I go over here, and then it's just... A ton ton of bullets everywhere and then every time I step somewhere freaking gigantic beams of death are coming through it's absolutely and this was a long one too wasn't it I seem to remember it being long I'm not going down there oh I can get hurt by jumping onto that interesting I guess I am going down there that seems to be the option oh, okay that's the next area that's good that's good Quick death to regain the health. Didn't didn't intentionally die there. I just didn't know that there was going to be one of those hitting me. I wonder if there's a point in going back up that way. Probably not. Ah, eh, this guy. Oh, this time there's bad guys too. Awesome. That does make it a bit harder. But we're at his, we're at the fight him part, so not a big deal. Can actually start putting, do I have to hit him in the head? I think I do. I don't remember. I'm doing very poorly. Yes, hit him in the head. Gotta, I still got to get used to using the steam controller and the dragging. All right. This guy wasn't that hard before, and he doesn't seem to have any additional moves compared to last time. Although, oh, I see, because I guess before, this is how I dodged it before, but I guess he's put his sword there so you can't really dodge as easily. That's interesting. And you get away from that, and you get away from that, and you get away from that, and he's back there. And this... Should be the end of him. I don't expect to see it have any more problems with him. He's gone. He's that's still such a great way to have a boss fight finish. And then Bunny Rocket. Time to fight Bunny Rocket. Now, she's my favorite. I hope I can play as her, but I don't I don't expect to be able to. Okay, the, I'm just I'm trying, and it's not working, to aim. I guess I really should put my finger in the center of that touchpad, press down, so I don't lose control, and then just never let the thumb up off the control pad again. Because it works, it works very similar to a trackpad. I say a trackpad, a trackball. I guess a trackpad's accurate-ish, too. It is a trackpad, technically. But, on this here controller, if you start with your thumb in the upper left, that's where the cursor starts. So if I try to push left, my finger will slide off the thing. Otherwise, it's going to stay centered. 
I'm doing a very terrible job of trying to explain this. Hmm. It's a good way to explain it. I don't know. I really don't know. It's like a trackball. If you started at the edge of the trackball, you wouldn't be able to go right anymore. And in the same case with this, you can't. You know, I still don't think I can hit her while she's doing that. Unless... It would be interesting if it really was moving that fast that I could only see the blur, but I'm pretty sure it's not. With this chick... Fighting Bunny Rocket, she's it's really important to use the slowdown to hit her. Otherwise, it's just going to be a shit show. And there I go, running out of... She's going to beat me. I don't expect to win this fight. I can get some damage off, but then I'm out of time dilation. Without time dilation, this fight is not a fight I can win. Ooh, I lucked out, dodged all that, and I have tie-dye again. Alright. Let... I know they call it bleed. Is that because every time I hit somebody, a whole bunch of blood comes out? I don't know. Ah, oh, damn. Didn't think that'd be enough to take me down. Just didn't think it was. And jump! And of course, you're gonna stop firing, bitch. I think it, I think that stop firing thing is just me starting at the wrong end of the spectrum. The wrong position on the touchpad. I guess, yeah, I guess touchpad... I guess touchpad makes sense. If you started at the right side of a touchpad, you wouldn't be able to... Wouldn't be able to get much use out of it either. If you wanted to go right anyway. I am doing terribly at aiming. Jeez. Damn it. It's like, how does she perfectly hit me right there? That's impressive. When she's doing her little flyby attack. Not this one, but... She's like, I'm gonna fly by you. This takes a lot more concentration than it should. <sighs> of course. I don't think a strategy guide's gonna help in this situation. This, is, this just comes down to me failing. Viciously. Oh, God. I keep wanting to press a button that's not right trigger to jump. But in this game, right trigger is jump. At least with the Steam Controller. And it makes a lot of sense. It really does. But... I can still not be used to it. This one. I just have no idea where she's going to end up. I have been doing quite a bit of damage to her, though. So there is that. Ah. I swear, she's regained health. I feel like I sh she should have lost more by now from what I've been doing to her. Look at her little face. That's funny. Oh, jeez, I really expected tie-dye to work there. And it didn't. Time dilation! Of course course that's where she's gonna be right where I'm jumping and of course she would I would I take damage from touching her I don't know why she made lava I don't understand never quite understood that mechanic other than well we just didn't know what else to do with some Nintendo games but touching me shouldn't hurt me it's, it's just a shitty mechanic yeah that time it didn't go up it's interesting me. Damn. What the fuck? 
That bullet hit the train and then flowed with the train. She hit me in her speed thing? She can do that? I don't think I can hit her. Oh well. Maybe I'd be doing better using... Uh, yeah, I normally use a trackball, but maybe I would be better using my trackball. I don't know. I just need to avoid those damn bolts, and I need to avoid her actually touching me. That's really where I keep dying. I would have beaten her several times if that wasn't a damage point. And bullet hell is my kind of thing, but man... Out of tie dye. There we go, that worked better. That didn't. This will, though. Maybe. If I don't screw it up too bad. Oh, she's doing this thing again. Alright. Oh, I'm all out of time dilation. Uh, let's get it. Come on. This is just sad. Just complete miss. Oh, I got her. That's sad. Bunny Rocket's cool. But that's it for this level. Only got 900 points. Not getting a lot of points for beating it on the harder modes. I'm really not. Maybe it's because I keep dying, but... Laser rifle. Pierces multiple targets, plus most armor for high damage. Requires pinpoint accuracy. We'll have a laser rifle next time. But yes, that's it for episode 7. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.